So now let's look at our armies. Uh, let's start with the city army. Okay, here's the governor. Uh, we have two units of Hoplitas Haploi, 162 soldiers, attack 5, do defense 12, bonus at fighting cavalry. One is the Glevi Hoplites. Uh, the morale and skill of this unit is on par with other levies, but because the, they fight as an organized phalanx, they tend to make a better accounting of themselves than the eastern Pantadapoi. Still, the lack of any substantial armor leaves them very vulnerable to missiles. Yeah, I can guess. Uh, what is this? Oh, Akondistai. These are the chuckers. Unreliable. Uh, their missile is pretty good. Good missile attack is pretty good though. Uh, but charge bonus and melee attack is awful. And our defense is awful. They have no armor at all. Though they carry a secondary weapon, it is often no more than a dagger. Considering this fact, their absence of armor and their only true defense of speed, a unit of Akontistai should never be forced to engage the opponent directly. Unless under extreme circumstances. Yeah, I remember these. So what are you? Doriporoi Ponticoi. Actually these are worse than... Yeah. So this is like a poor man's phalanx. I can already see that. Bonus at fighting cavalry. Can swim and combat bonus in the woods. Pontic Spearman. Uh... Thanks to the shields, they may face uh, the many archers that their potential enemies are likely to feel with some confidence, and their spears allow them to fend off the light cavalry that is also common among their foes. They also hold their ground against infantry similar to themselves, however truly heavy cavalry, not to mention quality heavy infantry will get the better of them sooner rather than later. Okay, so these guys are like a first line of infantry. These are the core. Uh, wait, we have one more. Ah, uh, okay, so these are the Hoplitae. Man, these are way better. How about the classical Hoplites? Uh, tightly grouped in a phalanx, forming a shield wall, they are ideal frontline troops and can hold their own against practically any type of soldier. Okay, that's good. That's good for us. So we have like. Um, very good Hoplita unit, then two uh, units that will be put on its side, and a poor man's phalanx here. It's actually just like a uh, medium, like a light spearman unit. And Skudadrun Abarata, melee and missile attack, not a bad defense. These are gonna be good archers, I think. Command bonus, long range missile, and good stamina. The Skiffian archers often carry a slightly larger version of the composite bow that their fellow cavalrymen employ. This fact, together with the advantage of shooting from a more stable platform, tends to give them somewhat longer range. Um, comparative lack of mobility. Oh, compared to cavalry, I guess. Suddenly, substantial number of the footballmen can make sure that the horse archers stay away from the area of the battlefield. Of course, they will not be able to catch and destroy the elusive riders. They're not well outfitted for hand-to-hand -hand combat, as all they carry is a small pickaxe and no armor, but their thick jackets and felt caps. If unsupported, they will be easy prey to cavalry or heavy infantry. Okay, so not all that good. What about you? Oh, yeah, nothing. You're just a general and an old one for that. Oh, Paltenai. Hmm. So you have nothing. What about you? You seem to be our main army. Oh, yes, you are. Oh my god, you have a ton of calf. Okay, he has two of these uh, Saki uh, units. He has one of the good Hopli time. What are these Paltenai? We already saw them. Total defense. My god, you have better defense than the guys. And you have, well, a good melee and great missile attack. Experts, combat bonus in the woods, may charge without orders. Trikean Peltast, armed with javelins, Kalma swords, and carrying a Turel's shield. These men are the most traditional infantry type among the Tricasts. They have little to no armor, 
because they trust their martial skills and are ready to discharge a deadly hail upon their enemies before charging with their fearsome weapons. They are well trained and among the fiercest and most feared warriors in the entire world and they know it. Wow! This often makes them very impetuous, but an able general should be able to keep them at bay until the right moment. They can be used with equal precision as skirmishers or medium shock infantry. Hmm, okay. Uh, and what are these? Paltas Lugades. Oh my god, they are even better. Inspires nearby troops, good stamina. Best of the in elite infantry. Wow. The influence of the Macedons was profound on Hellenic warfare. The Macedonian Diadochoi armies elevated the role of select corps as Peltastai, making them a versatile, well trained force. Uh, the Lesser Hellenistic Kingdom of Anatolia and the Bosporus. They were effective as screening cavalry, skirmishing, flanking, assaulting fortified positions, rapid marches, seizing strategic locations on the battlefield, and when necessary, give a good account of themselves in the main battle line. Interesting. Okay. So, infantry wise, you are not bad. What about archers? We already know these. What about these? Savra Madruna Baratae. You have better missile but worse melee attack. You're like light archers. Unreliable too. Sarmatian archers. Food archers can be deployed on title formations and the composite bows that they employ still maintain the qualities of those of their nomadic relatives. Interesting. Uh, and now... Wow. Five types, no, four types of cavalry with uh, five types of units. Let's start by these guys. Wow, a good charge bonus and attack, not a good defense. Effective against armor, powerful charge, fast moving. Uh, I want to stick light lancers. Uh, the main weapon of the Xistoporoi. Is a four meter long spear known as the Xiston, from which the unit takes its name. It is this weapon that allows the unit to make an effective charge, something most cavalry from Greece are incapable of. In addition to this, a copies is carried as a backup for close quarter fighting. That being said, however, they are not meant to be used as true shock cavalry and will not roll up an enemy battle line on their own, nor should they be used as in protected, me protracted melee. For any great amount of time. Okay, but I, I think you're a good shark infantry. What about you? Melee attack. Fast horseman. Better defense. Um, way worse charge. And way worse attack, but a missile attack. Fast horseman. These horsemen are relatively well armored, carrying javelins and spears, while at the same time holding oval shields. Although they are quite wealthy, they prefer to fight as mounted skirmishers, but are still capable of dealing with white cavalry in melee. Moreover, these trikes are particularly wild and uncivilized, very much given to drink women and the men. Are they other alive or no? Hmm. What about you? Uh, missile archers, yeah, horse archers, and these, yeah, horse archers as well. These are better, way better, but these have slightly better defense. Hmm. My way attack, not very good. Fast moving, shooting circle. Sifi and riders, and these are elders and horse archers. Okay, so we have quite a device, uh, or divi diver oh, diverse, quite a diverse army here. I'm not sure how to handle this. What cities are around us? Uh, we have one here, Purple Town. And there's one here. One here. Is there like a border here? No, this might control this entire coast. I don't see any other city here. So these three cities are the immediate surrounding. Now as Pantica Pion seems to be the truly uh, trade city, 
we may do well to keep it that way. Uh, lightly defended, but well, uh, well versed in trade and income. And we'll conquer these cities in this direction. We're gonna go for Tauroi first. Uh, then, what is this? Rebel Nomads Kulata. And then Mayotai. So I'll move these oh units here and uh, give them some reinforcements from here. Probably these guys and the archers, then these two. And if we can hold it, uh, more of these. What kind of generals do we have here? Oh no, he has missile archers too. Missile attack 6, melee for 8, charge 14. But a good defense. Yeah, well, he's way better than the other archers, but... Hmm, not a good thing. What about you? Same! Awesome. So yeah, uh, the unit will group here, and then we'll probably have to deal with this general. I have no idea what he has, but once we beat him, we'll be able to attack the rebel town and take it. Uh, I think that it's pretty certain that we'll have to... Yeah, we have terrible profits, so we'll need to destroy and sack this town. Same with this, and then we might be able to start making money. Oh, there's another town here. But this one will be first to go. So this, 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 and then this. What you? Oh, you can spy on him. Good. So you'll tell us a bit more on them than on the city. Can you see what's in this city as a defense? Well, that's far a week. Okay, what about you? I, I have a feeling that I might want to send you to deal with the Savro uh so that we have a queer coast. And then we might send you to uh, Asia Minor to deal with uh, the people there. So that we can have a decent and well organized um, trade going on. Because we're going to expand ac across uh, the coast for most of the time. Uh, all of these, well this city definitely and this city definitely and this one as well will uh, help us with the trade. How's the income anyway? Can we see faction ranking? Oh uh, no, that's family tree is here. Settlements, income 1,341. Yeah, so about three cities seem to be what we need to do. I think the money are shown in here. Learning browser recommendation settlement detail here. So we are getting a bit from trade, a lot from taxes, and something from local production. Hmm. Hellenistic polities, culture, Hellenistic. Step the bodies. And the rest, really? Famine? And civil unrest, improvements, population growth, famine. Hmm. Okay, well, so this is the plan. We're gonna attack uh, this city, then go after this one and this one. Maybe it might be better. We'll, we'll see which cities are, are weaker. We need to sack them. And we're gonna probably build, I guess, the mid scale farming. And we're gonna try to recruit some troops as well. I would probably. Wow, who are these guys? West Anatolian champions. One of the two types of elite soldiers in the armies of the states of Western Anatolia. Their name means those beyond the shields and refers to the row as champions of a sword. Uh, they should be used to spearhead assaults on enemy lines or enemy walls. They are offensive units with few parallels among the Hellens, and in fact, many of the men among them have cut their teeth in wars against Gal Galatian invaders. Huh. So maybe this guy in the Hoplitae would be a good investment. And then maybe archers. We'll need to keep. The construction is gonna take way too long for us to invest in it, so... So yeah, this is the situation we are in. 
I'm happy that you guys joined me for the first episode and now we are gonna move to episode uh, well actual episode 0 and now we're gonna move to the episode 1 where we actually do start the game so see you there folks <laughs>